Today we're going to shoot our Pro Air Level 2 and Level 3A vest against ammunition available in the market. What we're not going to be able to do is actually replicate what occurs at the NIJ when you go through the compliance testing program. What we will be able to show you is what our armor is capable of defeating in the field as a police officer during your day-to-day -day routine. We're going to be shooting three rounds of the Winchester 180 grain jacketed hollow point. And the average speed of those rounds was 1,025 feet per second. What you just witnessed was our Pro Air Level 2 series defeating the Winchester 180 grain jacketed hollow point at 1,025 feet per second. What's really important to recognize is that the back face deformation allowable by the NIJ is 44 millimeters. What you just saw was our maximum deformation at 33 millimeters. So once again, it's showing how well our Pro Air Level 2 can defeat this projectile. All right, the next shoot we're gonna do will be two rounds of the 125 grain SIG. As you can see, we just shot the SIG 125 grain gold dot round, average speed of 1,370 feet per second, and our back face average was 27 millimeters. The way you realize if a product is actually compliant to the NIJ test protocol is you go onto the NIJ website and they actually produce the compliant products list. So you want to make sure that the manufacturer and the model number of the vest that you're selecting is actually listed on that list. The next thing that you look at is if you look at their panel, you're actually going to see the NIJ logo up beside their model number. If the product is not certified to the NIJ standard, and I don't mean tested to, compliant with, or, or similar to, you want to make sure that they're using the NIJ logo and that it's actually been certified to their standard. This time we're going to shoot two rounds of the Winchester 127 grain SXT. We just shot the Winchester 127 grain SXT round, average speed 1,270 feet per second, and we had an average back face deformation of 26 millimeters. As you can see from our demonstration of our Pro Air Level 2, we had a maximum back face deformation of 28 millimeters. The NIJ allows a 44 millimeter back face during their NIJ protocol. That deformation is what your body is going to feel even though the vest stops a bullet. So you can see as we measure each one of the rounds that we're much below the 44 millimeters that the NIJ allows. Now we're going to shoot our Pro 3A series. First round that we're going to shoot is the Remington 240 grain jacketed hollow point. Average speed about 1430 feet per second. Uh, we're going to be using a Smith & Wesson uh, 8 and 7 8 inch barrel so that we can get the velocities up to about 1440 feet per second, which is roughly the same velocity that the NIJ uses uh, at the lab. All right, so now we're going to shoot two rounds of a 240 grain 44 Magnum jacketed hollow point.
We're going to shoot two rounds of the Liberty 60 grain round, uh, estimated speed 2400 feet per second. We appreciate you watching our video. As I mentioned in the beginning, all we were trying to do is educate officers on what a vest is capable of doing. We weren't trying to replicate the NIJ test scenario. If you want to look at our test reports, please go to www.onyxarmor.com and you can pull up all of that information. Thank you for your time.